previously on the Great Australian Spelling Bee. Are you ready to spell? Yeah! Excellent! The competition began for our top 26. I just felt really excited. I never thought I'd get this far. And they were spelling for their place in the competition. V-I-C-T-O-R. Condor. Visible. Decider. Nine words. You've jumped to the top. As we said goodbye to Jack. That is... Incorrect. I'm just proud of myself because I got into the top 26. And Joshua. He skipped the letter again. We've loved having you guys here. Tonight, you'll be spelling in teams. Four teams battle it out. It's going to be really fun. And there's immunity on offer for the team that's the most successful. Everyone in the green team can smell the immunity. Shepherd. S H P. Attain. A P T A I N. Correct. Correct. So good. Demise. D U. Oh no. I was really panicking because time was running out. Plus. What is that? That is a 10 meter pizza. It's food for thought. Sashimi. Correct. Asparagus. Correct. A S P. But which team will win? Have you lost your confidence? The pressure is on. Welcome back, spellers. We've seen some fantastic spelling from you guys so far, but today is going to be a little bit different. So far, you've been spelling as individuals, but today, you'll be spelling in teams. Yes. Awesome. Now, this is going to be great. We can function as well, we can perform as a team, and we can cheer each other on. Here's how it works. We've got three challenges. And one team will be knocked out at the end of each. And your job is to spell your way into the last one. Win the final spelling bee. And you'll get immunity from tomorrow's elimination. Oh. Oh. I really want to save myself from elimination. We've got to do this. We've got to get immunity. I've won that. How good's that immunity? It's like a force field around you. <laughs> Josie, do you look happy? What's the best news? The immunity or the fact that no one's going home today or the fact that you're about to spell in a team? That no one's going to be eliminated and that there's immunity on offer. Yeah, say she's gone for two. She's a wise woman. All right, then, let's get you into your teams. Each of you is going to pick a token from the letter bag. Whatever colour you get, that's the team you're in. Dig in. I got yellow. Onto the yellow hexagon, Peyton. Thank you, Chris. Green. Dig in, yellow. yellow. Yes, blue. It's important to have good spellers on my team. I don't want to go into that elimination. On your own, what'd you get? Green, green. I'm just ecstatic. Oh, there were four greens in a row. Nearly oh. all of our team consist of the top ten in the last show. We are very strong spellers and we know that we can blitz this thing. I'm in the red team and I'm excited because if I had to pick a best spell, it would be Ben. D-E-C-I-D-E-R, decider. You jump to the top. I'm really nervous about Harpeet and Harpeet. They're both really good spellers individually, and I'm nervous going up against them as a team. Now we've got our teams blue, green, red, and yellow. Good luck, everyone. I'll be keeping an eye on you from backstage. <laughs> luck and so well. Ready to hear what your first challenge is? Yes! It's time for letter by letter. Each team has 90 seconds to correctly spell as many words as possible. The pronouncer will give you a word. You'll each say a letter in turn. Basically, all the people in your team will have to spell one letter. For example, your word is koala. The first person will be like K. Second person, O. Third person, 
A, and it keeps on going on. Now, if you think the speller before you has said an incorrect letter, or if you don't know how to spell the word, ask for a new word from the pronouncer. Green team, you're up first. Do you think Grace is going to be fine in this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she really enjoyed it. Yeah, she would have. <laughs> And we felt kind of tense because we all have to spell working together as one person. Ignore the clock, I imagine there is no time limit. That clock is invisible, it does not exist. It is in your mind, it is imaginary. Let's spell. Pronouncer, first word. The word is feud. Feud, F. E, U, D. Feud. Correct. Jostle. J, O, S, T, L, E. Jostle. Correct. Curio. Curio. C U R I O. Curio. Correct. Well done. Harass. Harass. H A R A S S. Harass. Correct. We are on fire. Insolent. I N S O L E N T. Insolent. Correct. Attain. Attain. A T T A I N. Attain. Correct. Ambition. Ambition. A M B I T I O N. Ambition. Correct. Bestow. Bestow. B E S T O W. Bestow. Correct. Passionate. Our team was just completely blitzing every single word. Passionate. P A S S I O N A T E. Passionate. Correct. Resolute. Resolute. R E S O L U T E. Resolute. Correct. Pragmatism. Pragmatism. P R. Time is up. Team Green. was simply sensational. You were six spellers performing as one tight unit. That was impressive. Now, the good bit. I can tell you the total number of words spelt correctly was... Ten. So happy with that. Nice work. Everyone in the green team can just smell the immunity. Good work, Team Green. They did so well, the team. Wow. Blue team, your turn. Remember, take your time and spell your best. We want that immunity, don't we? Everyone excited? Yeah. yeah. I think I'm excited too. Yeah. Paige. Yeah? Spelling as a team. What do you reckon? So I think we're a pretty good team and hopefully we'll get that immunity. That's what you're looking for? Yeah. Immunity, immunity, more, more immunity. <laughs> Let's spell. Pronounce up. The word is bias. Bias. B I A S. Bias. Correct. Phobia. Phobia. P H O B I A. Phobia. Correct. Yes. We're off to a great start. Deco. Correct. Fidget. Correct. Shepherd. S H P. Next word. Haunch. P O E. Next word. Eligible. Next word. Bustle. Correct. Not sure. Correct. Fallible. Correct. Perceptive. Perceptive. P E. Time is up, Team Blue. <laughs> nice job, everyone. The good news is, I'm able to tell you, Team Blue, the total number of words you spelt correctly was... seven. <laughs> Head back to your hexagons. <laughs> Red Team, your turn. Listen carefully and don't overthink it. The Red Team wants immunity a lot. <laughs> we were really, really, really want it. Ben, it looked like you were doing a little bit of coaching just before you guys came out to have your turn. What was it you were saying to your fellow spellers? Just to keep calm and just to um, make sure you're listening and focus to what um, the other guys have said. You got your paper clip, Amy? Actually, 
My whole team has their paper clips. Oh, so Amy's lucky paper clip has grown to all teams. 30 words, then, I think, <laughs> the power of the paper clip. To guarantee your place in the immunity challenge and join the green team, you need to score more than seven. You ready? Yes. Yes. Let's spell. Pronouncer. The first word is pivot. Pivot. P-I-V-O-T. Pivot. Correct. Attire. Attire. A-T. I wasn't sure if it was one T or two. T. I. R. E. Attire. Correct. Yen. Correct. Colony. Correct. Ticklish. Correct. Aversion. Correct. Demise. Demise. D. U. I knew we had gotten the word wrong. I was really panicking because the number to beat was seven. Time was running out. Competitor. Correct. Monotone. Correct. Forthright. F O R T H R I. Time is up. Team Red. You need to score more than seven. They're not sure how many words. Yeah. The total number of words you spelt correctly was... Eight. You don't look very happy about that at all, Josie. <laughs> Great job, Team Red. Really well done. Great job. Thank you. We had gotten eight words, and I was really, really happy with that because it meant that we have another opportunity to fight for immunity. Team Yellow, let's go. And I get nervous because we had to work as a team to get more than seven and to go to the next challenge and have a chance to win immunity. It's all down to yellow team. I really badly want to get that immunity. Holly and Peyton, you guys seem to be getting along pretty well. Yeah. Why, what is it you like about Holly so much? She's <laughs> friendly, she's kind and she's funny. What about Peyton? She literally just read my mind. <laughs> wow. That's quite a bond. Let's talk cross lovers. <laughs> Are we ready? Yes. Yeah. Let's spell. Pronouncer, their first word. The first word is unify. Unify. U N I F Y. Unify. Correct. Bovine. Bovine. B O V I N E. Bovine. Correct. Tinge. Tinge. T I N G E. Tinge. Correct. They're so fast. You're off to a banging start. Spouse. Correct. Botany. Correct. Refinery. Next word. Miss up. Correct. Bedraggle. Correct. Prolific. Prolific. P R O L I F I C. Prolific. Correct. Time's up, Team Yellow. <laughs> You need to score more than seven. I can tell you the total number of words you spelled correctly was... Please, please, please. Eight points, please. I can tell you the total number of words you spelled correctly was eight. All the hard work has pulled off and we're ready for the next challenge. You are one step closer to immunity. Bad luck, blue team. So close. Just one word was the difference. That means you don't get to spell for immunity. So head backstage. Chris is waiting for you guys right now. Team Yellow.
Well, at least did it. We've got one step closer to immunity. Green team, red team, yellow team. Here we go. The next challenge is show and spell. And the top two teams in this challenge go forward to Team Spelling Bee and that chance to win immunity. We wanted that immunity. And I'm feeling pretty confident. We've got a huge stockpile of good spellers. Now, all the words in show and spell are from a special category. Want to know what that category is? Yes! Have a look over there. going on and on and on as they kept on carrying it in. Have you ever seen anything like that? It was huge. I want to eat that. Is that not the coolest thing you have ever seen? It is enormous. That is one big pizza. Any idea what the special category of words could be? Pizza oh. toppings! Pizza toppings. Pizza toppings. Interesting. Jack. Category is a category food. The category is food. <laughs> oh my god. Nice. Food. Did you notice anything else on this pizza that might help you in this challenge? Have a good look. Is it letters? Amelia, letters, you are right. <laughs> And all the words in this challenge begin with the letters that are on this pizza. There's six rounds. Let's have the first speller from each team come forward. Youngest speller first. Good luck. Going up against Grace was scaring me a little bit because she's really good at spelling. Green team, you got the most words correct in the last challenge, so Grace, you're going to go first. Come with me. Right. What I need you to do is grab a plate and come and pick a letter. Any letter you like. You can see there's letters made out of all sorts of pizza toppings. She's gone past the basil P, past the sausage S. We've got the anchovy M. You're deep in thought here, aren't you? She's going to get the olive F. Chosen F. Why F? Out of all the letters on this 10-metre pizza, why F? Um, the first letter I saw. <laughs> <laughs> Very good point. <laughs> She's so logical. So remember, all the words are related to food, and the first word will begin with F. Pronouncer, first clue, please. The word has eight letters and is of Italian origin. Italian origin. Yes, Amelia. Uh, she knows it. She knows it. Focaccia. Focaccia. Pronouncer? Is she right? Focaccia is correct. You've identified the word. I now need you to spell it correctly. Focaccia. F-O-C-A-C-C-I-A. Focaccia. Pronouncer? Is she right? That is correct. <laughs> Very well done, Amelia. This has got the word correctly, and that's one point for Team Red. Everybody head back to your hexagons. Yes! <laughs> The rest of the team were very happy with that. Next spellers, come forward. <laughs> Bella, this is pretty cool. What do you think of this challenge? Um, I'm a bit nervous about versing Ben. He's a very good speller. How does that make you feel, Ben? <laughs> um, flattered. Would you like to come forward and grab a letter? Yep. OK. I saw Q, I immediately thought that'd be a great letter to choose because there aren't a lot of words that start with Q. 
interesting letter. There's going to be less words, surely, that start with Q. Yeah. yeah. Or immediately I had words that started popping up in my mind, like quesadilla or quince or quiche, something like that. The letter Q? Yep. This could be a tough round. Peyton, what do you think of the letter Q? Uh, I'm not very too sure of that. Q food words, just not going to happen. Ooh, Ben has set a pretty tough challenge for the three of you right now. It's a food. It's going to start with the letter Q. Are we ready? Yep. Let's spell. Pronounce our first clue. The word has six letters and is of Spanish origin. I knew the word could be quesadilla. Wow. Ben, straight in. Oh, wait. Hold on. The word is six letters long. Quesadilla wasn't six letters long. Actually, I had an idea that was Spanish, but it's not, not definitely not six letters long. Oh, no. Actually, I had an idea, but it's definitely not six letters long. Quinoa. Yes. What's quinoa? I've never even heard of it. Is it like some little Spanish dessert? Pronouncer. Quinoa is correct. Hey, halfway there. Come on, Ben. The party looks like it's starting a little early over there, Ben, with Team Red. You've still got one thing to do. Spell it correctly. OK. Quinoa. He's looking confident again. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Q-U-I-N-O-A. Quinoa. Josie, are you dancing again over there? Yes. <laughs> Why are you dancing? <laughs> because I think it's correct. Pronouncer. That is... Correct. Yay. Yay. Sensational spelling, Ben. Thank really you. well done. Well done, spellers. Head back to your teams. Nice work. Green team, yellow team. It's time to spell your best to catch up. The word has seven letters and is of Japanese origin. And it would in. Sashimi. S A S H I M I. Correct. And it does it. The word has nine letters and is of Greek origin. Anchovies? Incorrect. Asparagus. Correct. A S P A R A G U S. Ah, Peter. You're punching the air at the moment. Is that a good sign? Yes, definitely. Correct. Yes. Really well done, Holly. If the red team correctly identify and spells the next word, they have guaranteed themselves a place in the immunity challenge. Guacamole. G U A C A M O L E. Correct. <laughs> Team Red has three points, so definitely through to the next challenge, where you'll be spelling for immunity. Well done. <laughs> Green and yellow team, you're tied on one point each, so we'll now enter a tiebreaker round. Green team, yellow team, you'll be going head to head. Whoever wins this round will be joining the red team in the final challenge. Now, green team and yellow team, you need to choose a special speller who will represent you in a tie break round. Give you a moment to think about it. Guys, is everybody okay with Annie Rood? Yeah. 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 Annie Rood. I want Annie Rood, 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 Rood to around Rood. Annie Rood. I knew that Annie Rood had a broad knowledge of food. I knew that he could probably lift us to victory in this particular challenge. Let's do it, bro. He could deal some damage. Holly, yeah. you're going we wrong. chose Holly because she's such a great speller. Team Green, who have you chosen? Annie Rood. Annie Rood. Team Yellow, who are you nominating? Holly. Holly. Holly, please come forward. Uh-oh, the pressure. 
Holly, are you happy to be here and represent them? I think so. <laughs> I'm sure you do a wonderful job. I felt really nervous going up against Mandelwood because I know he's a strong speller. Andy Wood, your turn to choose a pizza for Team Green. There's real pressure now. Grab a plate, find a slice. Mm. Just a few letters remaining. Tuck deep inside its topping. There were only two letters I could see, M and N. I could think of more food words of M than N, so that's why I picked M. You've chosen an M. Well done. Pop it on the end of the table. All right, here we go. He's chosen an M made of anchovies. Lucky they don't have to eat it. <laughs> We're playing for the point that means you will join Team Red to play in the Immunity Challenge. Oh, yeah. Pronouncer, the first clue, please. The word has eight letters and is of French origin. She's counting them out. She doesn't know what it is. And you would? Not sure at all. No, oh, I don't know. Does that get anybody any closer? This is an important opportunity to grab a point for your team. Nobody's closer. Let's get another clue. It is a mixture of sugar and beaten whites of eggs. Holly. Oh, yes, she's in. What is the word, Holly? Meringue. You believe the word is meringue? Team Yellow, has Holly got it right? Yes. Let's find out, pronouncer. That is correct. Oh, she doesn't look happy. Maybe she doesn't know how to spell it. You are halfway there. Spell this correctly and you have a point for Team Yellow. And your team joins the red team in the immunity challenge. Meringue. M-E-R. You can do it. Breathe. My stomach is just churning. What if I get the word wrong? What if I get the word wrong? I-N-G-U-E, Meringue. Pronouncer, is she right? That is... correct. <laughs> How amazing is that? You did it. What's it feel like to grab a point for Team Yellow and now be joining Team Red to play in the Immunity Challenge? Amazing. Head over and celebrate with your friends, Holly. Nice work, Team Yellow. A wonderful fight to the end. I knew it was Moran from the start, but I couldn't spell it. Team Green, bad luck. Good try. The good news, though, is you get to relax and watch the next challenge backstage. <laughs> and you're a nice job. I only felt a tiny bit disappointed, but I just feel happy for the other teams that have made it to the immunity challenge. Guys, everyone got their Habie clips? Yeah. Got it, yep. Okay. And we'll just try our best. And remember, if one person gets it wrong, it's not that bad, because we've still got five other chances. They have a bigger advantage. So they like, because I got older really kids. 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 So we're the youngest team. Yeah. Yeah, and they're, they're the oldest team. Wow, that's the difference. Yeah, we're the youngest, youngest team. So Going into the challenge, the yellow team have got Sophie and Hard Peter. I'm nervous going up against them. Fellas, come on over. Age doesn't matter. It matters if you're a good speller. We really wanted immunity. Coming up, red team, yellow team, this is it. A titanic battle. Chancellor. Correct. Tight Correct. This is a tight, tough tussle. But which team will spell their way to victory? Gotta make this count right now. Centrifugal. The pressure is on. Going into the challenge, the yellow team have got half Heath and half Peter. I'm nervous going up against them. Fellas, come on over. We really wanted immunity. So that's why Carl made the papers for me. This is going to be Team Yellow's lucky charm. Let's hope it works. Red team, yellow team, this is it. 
it's time for Team Spelling Bee. Now, in this challenge, team members take it in turns to spell. Get it right, and you keep spelling. Make a mistake, and you're out of the challenge. Last team standing wins immunity. It's pretty simple. Here we go. First up, Team Red, Josie. You ready? Yes. Let's spell. Pronouncer, can we have the first word, please? The word is... Authentic. Authentic. She's pretty fierce. <laughs> Josie. Yeah. <laughs> A... U... T... H... E... N... T... I... C... Authentic. That is... Correct. It's kind of like the perfect start, Josie. How does that make you feel? Pretty good. Excellent. Well done. Take a seat. <laughs> Team Yellow, your turn. Ryan, you're up. Best of luck. You ready? Let's spell. Pronouncer. The word is capsicum. Capsicum. C A P. Could I please start again? Yes, you may. Capsicum. C A P S I C U. M. Capsicum. That is correct. Great intelligent thinking, asking to start again, and it worked. Well done, Ryan. Take a seat. <laughs> Team Red, Amelia. Hydrogen. H Y D R O G E N. Hydrogen. Correct. That's two out of two, Red Team. I-O-U-S, gregarious. Correct. Sustainable. Correct. Chancellor. Correct. It's neck and neck at the moment, everybody. Amy, you're next. All right. I'm going to try my hardest, get immunity. I'm just trying to clear everything in my head. I just want to make sure I've got all my attention on the word. You ready? Let's spell. Pronouncer. A word, please. The word is... ferocity. I started getting nervous. I'm not quite sure what the word is. So I was just focusing my nervous energy on the paper clips. Can I please have a definition? Savage fierceness. So I could just try and I guess. Ferocity. Stop, please. I need to know that you have heard the word correctly. Ferocity. Ferocity. F E R. Why ferocity? That is incorrect. The correct spelling is F E R O C I T Y ferocity. Look, you're out of the remainder of this challenge, but you're certainly not out of the competition. So please head back to your team and stand behind your seat. That puts you one speller behind the yellow team. Happy, you're next.
You ready to do it for Team Yellow? Mm, yep, I'm ready to do it for Team Yellow. I'm ready to make them proud. Good luck. Let's spell. The word is... Valedictory. Can I please have the definition? Relating to saying goodbye or farewell. Valedictory. Can you please repeat the word? Valedictory. Happy just got the double yeah, cross. She, she knows it's hard. Right. Valedictory. The word is valedictory. Valedictory. V A L E D I C T O R Y. Valedictory. That is correct. Unbelievable! That was a really tough word. Well done, Hard Pete. Take a seat. Yellow team, well done to you guys. <laughs> Only the slightest advantage over Team Red at the moment, but this is a great battle right now. Josie, please come forward. You set? Let's spell. The word is jonquil. Jonquil. She would never have heard the word jonquil. Can I please have a definition? A flowering plant with sweet-smelling yellow or white flowers, jonquil. Jonquil. J O N Q U E L, jonquil. That is incorrect. The correct spelling is J O N Q U I L, jonquil. Josie, just one letter. But in spelling, sometimes one letter makes all the difference, doesn't it? Were you familiar with the word? No. <laughs> so you just had to take a shot? Yeah. Okay, head back to your team and stand behind your chair and join Amy. Don't worry, don't worry about it. You'll get this bit. You go. You now only have four spells left. Because it's a team effort, I think she she should be okay. Okay, great. The first word that I've ever gotten wrong. Everyone's spelling so well. This is a tight, tight, tough tussle between you guys. Let's spell. Derivation. D E R I V A T I O. N. Derivation. Correct. Copious. C O P I O U S. Correct. Penitentiary. Incorrect. Four spellers on Team Red and five on Team Yellow. Nonchalant. Correct. Harangue. H U R A N G. Harangue. That is. Incorrect. The correct spelling is H A R A N G U E. Harangue. So, with that, both teams now have four spellers in play. Osprey. Correct. Prospectus. Incorrect. Three on Team Yellow and Team Red have four. Liniment. Incorrect. Precocious. Incorrect. Rendezvous. 
Incorrect. Gazebo. Correct. Two spellers on both sides still in play. A smash. Incorrect. Team Yellow, that now means that you are one speller in front. It's Ben versus the Twins right now. Ah, Peter. Again. Happens to me all the time, I know. Yeah. There you go. Thanks. How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty nerve-wracked right now. Let's spell. Pronouncer, the next word. The word is transcendent. Can you please repeat the word? Transcendent. Can you please um, put in a sentence? As the sun dropped below the horizon, the sky was filled with transcendent beauty. Can you please repeat the word? Transcendent. And I knew, okay, transcendent. Transcendent. T R A N S C E N D. I didn't know if it's A and T or E and T. A and T, transcendent. That is incorrect. The correct spelling is T R A N S C. E N D E N T, transcendent. Oh, Peter, you went A N T. One single letter was all that was wrong. Yeah. I'm pretty okay. I still know there's one person on our team. And if Hapith can try his best, then we might be able to win immunity. You're absolutely spot on. Wonderful attempt. Time to head back to Team Yellow and stand behind your chair. So, it's one on one right now. Ben, immunity would make the world of difference for Team Red, wouldn't it? That's right. I really have to fight to win immunity. Harpeth might be younger, but I reckon he's also a really great speller, so it's going to be tough to overcome him. Me versus Ben was actually cool because I'm just eight years old and he's a 13-year-old. Feeling the power of Team Red, let's go. We've got to make this count right now. Yep. Let's spell. Pronouncer. The next word. There are two possible pronunciations. Centrifugal or centrifugal. Oh, look at that reaction. When the pronouncer gave me centrifugal, I, you know, I panicked. Uh, can you please repeat the word? Centrifugal or centrifugal. Centrifugal. I was really panicking when I got centrifugal. It was just me for the red team and Harpeth for the yellow team. Nervous. C E N T R I F U G A L Centrifugal. That is correct.
was your first reaction when you heard the word? Oh no. <laughs> I've never heard of that word. So, you know, it's a tough one. That's amazing. That's a really hard word. Whew. This is going to be so close, isn't it? Take a seat. Thank you. Team Red. So much riding on this, huh, Beth? The pressure is on. Let's do it. So, Harpeth, if you get this right, we all have another round. If you get it wrong, Team Red shoots straight through to immunity. Oh, wow. no pressure. Beat. Yes. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's spell. The word is cavalcade. Can I please have the definition? A procession of people on horseback or in horse-drawn carriages, cavalcade. Can you please repeat the word? He's gone to the happy to school of buying time. <laughs> cavalcade. Cavalcade. C A V A L C A D E. Cavalcade. That is correct. Unbelievable. With that performance, our Pete. You keep Team Yellow in with a fighting chance. The battle rolls on. Ben, you're 13 years of age. That's correct. Up Heath, you're eight. This is like a David and Goliath battle right in front of our very eyes. You ready, Ben? Yep. Please come forward. The word is magnanimous. 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 I have no idea. I've, I've never seen the word. M A G N A M. that long and that yeah. tricky, you can see them get to a certain stage and... A-N-O-U-S. Magnanimous. That is... Incorrect. The correct spelling is M-A-G-N-A-N-I-M-O-U-S, magnanimous. Ben, <laughs> it's not over for Team Red just yet. Harpeth still needs to spell. If he spells correctly, Team Yellow wins. If he spells incorrectly, Team Red are still back in with the chance, okay? So here we go, Harpeth. Let's spell. Pronounce it, the next word. The word is gasification. Can you please repeat the word? Gasification. Gasification. I'm not sure if he knows. G A S I. C-A-T-I-O-N, gasification. That is correct.
Team Yellow, you did it! Come on! Come on! I can't believe that I didn't make it to the top 26, but then I came back in the competition and I won immunity for my team. Next time on the Great Australian Spelling Bee, with the yellow team watching on... Good luck, guys! Our young spellers are back fighting for themselves. Game on. Risotto. R-I-S. Mortify. M-O-R-T-I-F-Y. Very quick. Makes me nervous when they go so fast. Mansion. M-A-N-I-S. That is incorrect. Gonna have to fight to stay in it. And with four of them facing elimination... Haphazard. <gasps> Hard. Can I please have the definition? There's no room for techno fear. Oh my god, this is the big robot. <laughs> He's running away from me. She's like freaked out. I'm scared of robots.